Hey there, Rams. I'm Ryan Christ, and I'm here to talk about more than just ice cream. So let's get started. With Valentine's Day being a week away, Fort Collins has some great ideas for all you master planners out there looking for a great way to make your evening perfect. If you're up for a short drive, downtown Loveland is hosting their Fire Nice Valentine's Day weekend, which is three days of fireworks, ice sculptures, live music, and horse-drawn carriage rides. If you're looking for something more local, the Rio Grande here in Fort Collins is having their Margarita Big Band Ball, where couples can enjoy margaritas and listen to iHeart Media romantic big band music. If you're a sporty couple, Fort Collins even has the night for you at the Kettlebell Method Studio, where couples can enjoy a nice evening workout with a Valentine's Day twist. All these ideas sound like they would make for the perfect evening, which reminds me, I need to start planning my evening before they run out of reservations. In some Fort Collins nerd news, Canadian actor Charlie Ross is coming to the Lincoln Center to do a one-man Star Wars show. Yes, he is going to perform all the good movies, so the original trilogy, in one hour all by himself. He is even humming the opening theme. Charlie said he has seen episode 4, A New Hope, over 400 times and is living his childhood dream of being in Star Wars. The performance is roughly one hour long, with the new hope taking up the majority of the time being over 20 minutes. Charlie has been doing this for four years and is considered adding some nods to the other movies, but for now, he is content with the original trilogy. Charlie will be performing at 9.30 Thursday night, and I may have to check this out because I can't wait to see what a one-man lightsaber fight looks like. With the Super Bowl being this past weekend, we have, of course, some great Super Bowl news. Let's get started with how the Simpsons once again predicted the future by showing Lady Gaga in 2012 episodes Lisa Goes Gaga swinging and flying around in a gray outfit. Sound familiar? Well, it should, because exactly, that's exactly what Lady Gaga did. Now, the Simpsons didn't get everything right, but they definitely nailed this one again somehow. I really want to meet the writers of this show to see if I could get a personal premonition because if they guess that Trump would win and Lady Gaga's Super Bowl performance five years in advance, they can definitely tell me when my next pop quiz is. In other Super Bowl news, we all know our favorite part, besides watching Tom Brady, Tom Brady get sacked repeatedly, well, unless you're my producer, Frank, who is a diehard Patriots fan, is of course the commercials. And this year, some of the commercials were great, from Melissa McCarthy's Saving the Whales to Steve Carell's high school photo and to It's a 10 Hair Care taking a jab at Trump, saying let's make sure these next four years are great, have great hair. But the one that got the most traffic was 84 Lumber. If you don't remember, this was the commercial that started with a young Hispanic girl and her mother traveling. It ended after about a minute directing people to see the full thing on 84 Lumber's website. In the full ad, we see these two are traveling to America and they come face to face with a giant border wall. In the ad, we see the daughter picking up scraps of cloth as they make their way, and it turns out she was sewing an American flag. She holds up the flag to the wall, and when you see the flag, the door opens, and they enter the country with the text, the will to succeed is always welcome here. This ad was so powerful and so popular that 84 Lumber's website crashed multiple times throughout the day. Goes to show you that, all, that not all ads need to be funny. Well, Rams, that is all the time we have for entertainment. Tune in tomorrow for our first episode of Ram Life Entertainment, and have a great night, Rams.